Hello and welcome back, YouTubers and Mavericks alike. Over on Twitter, I asked for 100 retweets and I would do a video on this this weekend. Well, you came through Twitter, so congratulations. Anyone who is complaining about a video about this, you can thank Twitter. So, first of all, I want to say that I'm not dressed up in anything special. I just got back from the movies, took my daughter out to watch My Little Pony. You'll see a special My Little Pony edition of What You Miss News in the future. Try not to die after hearing that news. With that said, I'm, uh, I'm going to go ahead and preface this and warn you that this is a... This is probably the worst console I've ever played in my life. I mean this wholeheartedly, that this is literally one of the worst. I have a console with a game on it called Donkey Kong 99, and this is worse than it. Do you understand the gravity of the situation? This is terrible. I want to begin this video just by looking at the controller itself, looking at the console itself in package, and through movie magic and editing, you don't have to suffer the built-in microphone of my phone here. Where's the on button again? Oh, that's right. This console's so cheap, it doesn't even have a labeled on-off switch. See you in a few. So I wanted to begin by talking about the built-in packaging. It's, uh... It's something else, let me tell you. 140 games, play at home or in the car. Oh boy, except that the in the car portion isn't really uh, in the car. You have to be lucky enough to have a built-in DVD player in your car to play this on. Not exactly a selling point. But yeah, sure, I guess you could play it in the car. Anyways, no console required. Paid $16.99 for this bad boy. A little expensive for crap clone consoles. None of the games on the front are easily recognized, that's for sure. This continues to advertise 140 different games built in. And there's no questioning that a lot of these games are different, though samey if you get my drift. They're not just clones of each other, but yeah. Anyways, it's made by Dream Gear for what it's worth. And, uh, all that packaging for what? Uh, yeah, not really a lot, huh? And mine happened to also come with this, this beautiful thing. Uh, it's a plastic defect that actually could cut my finger. I, I pressed on it pretty hard. It left a pretty decent imprint. If this is meant for children and not grown men, and it left an imprint and a kind of cut on my finger, I'd hate to see it in children's hands. The other side also had something like this as well. I had to slice them down with a knife. Enough delaying, let's jump right into it. Do you guys remember that John Tron episode where he was he was plugging and playing that um that absolutely horrendous Lion King game? Well, uh this game has that game on it. And it's so bad. It is <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot possibly describe how terrible this game is. First, let's begin by saying that you can barely make the jumps that you're supposed to be making. Second off, when when you do end up able to actually play the game and get a stable frame rate, because that's, that's a serious issue with this thing, and you do finally make the jump, it just has a giant no traffic light. I'm controlling Simba in what I'm presuming to be Africa, but that's okay. See, because when you kill yourself, when you die, you literally commit suicide. Oh my god. D Run that by me one more time. Run it by me one more time. Did, did I actually see that? Yeah. The first game. That's the first game. Okay. Primitive man. Mm. Mm-hmm. He's, uh... He's primitive man. Uh, is it good? Yeah, this game, not so, uh... Not so entertaining, either. Your main enemies are frogs. So, that's the thing. Looks to be the bombed-out ghetto shelters of Detroit. It, this literally looks like a war zone. Where did this caveman get sent to? I have no idea. I eventually came to a place where I literally couldn't crawl 
through. I couldn't walk past because my guy was too big and I ended up giving up after five minutes of frustrating effort of trying to get through this. Racing fighter, it has a army jeep on the front of it and you're racing it and fighting. This seems like it would be a potential NES game ripoff, like a lot of these games actually are. This one's not so bad, other than the fact that I continuously crashed and blew up, but again, this isn't, it's not anything new. It's not mind-altering, it's, it's not amazing, it's just a racing game where you shoot cars and you get fuel and you try to make it to the end without running out of fuel. Wonder Rabbit. This was a. Uh, this was something. The uh, the title screen makes it out to be looking like a junior kangaroo. For whatever reason, you have to press the buttons A and B at the same time to change into different rabbit forms. I realized this literally is a Super Mario Brothers ripoff. Then I saw the grass waving around. Then I saw the backgrounds, then I saw the sprites too, and I also realized that it seems more like a Dr. Mario ripoff also. This game is interesting. It's it's interesting in the fact that it, it's so pirated, it's not even funny. Some of the bunnies can fly, some of the bunnies can jump, some of the bunnies can throw stuff. Oh, also you can't go down ladders. What, you thought this was a game that would make sense? There's a ladder? You don't go down ladders. You're a bunny. You jump over things. Unless you're the bunny that throws stuff, then you can't jump. So, that's the thing. And oh my god, what was that? What? Next game. Maybe Extreme Rally will be a bit better. Another racing game this is a racing game where you take a car and you press up and down and up and down to go highway racer is about the same thing except with motorcycles so again once uh once again the 140 games right here oh looky looky is printed on the console so you don't forget 140 games built in 140 built-in video games. Different ones aren't printed on this one. That's reserved for the packaging. Because while you're playing this game system, you're going to look down and you're going to say, I thought this was 140 different games. Yeah, that's what I meant when I said they're a bit samey earlier. Ah, yes. Magic Johnny. Magic Johnny. The best part of this game is the demo. I'm not kidding, that literally is what happens. It's less than five seconds, and the person kills themselves. Did you miss it again? Don't worry, it'll come back up. The, uh, the backstory here is basically, bad people came and took all the nutrients out of land. Magic Johnny's gonna plant some plants, eat some bad guys with the plant. Case closed. Magic Johnny is the hero, everyone. Hey, he's, he's got to lick up on those rabbits because he can climb a ladder and he can grow a plant and he can eat things that crawl on the ground. That's Johnny, ladies and gentlemen. We have, a, we have an advanced controller with literally two buttons. The other ones are just reserved for turbo and uh, start and reset. Uh, 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 can't figure out how to open a chest. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm the next DSP Gaming. What can I say? Ooh, I better be careful. I'll get, I'll get slapped with a, with a copyright claim. <laughs> just, just take, take that whole part about DSP out. I'm, I'm not that bad. Anyone else notice that this controller also is pretty much based off of the Sega Dreamcast controller, which isn't exactly a good design choice either. It's, it's not. The Sega Dreamcast controller came out almost 17 years ago. Aether Mission. This is one of the most comprehensive games on the console itself. Not bad, not great. It is just a space shooter where you go through space shooting stuff. 
things seem to match up, other than the simple fact that you're an F-15 fighter jet that's going through space fighting other fighter jets, and also giant triangles and space debris coming at you. So kind of strange that you guys are in space, but hey, whatever, at least it works. You can move left, you can move right, and the turbo buttons come in handy for rapid fire. This is one of the best games on the system. That's very sad to say because after five minutes playing this, the boss never showed up and nothing ever happened. Aquatic fishing. Aquatic fishing. Fishing on a game console that is literally a controller. Powered by three AA batteries. You really think this is going to be an amazing comprehensive fishing game? Do you? Danger Bridge. No bridges in the background, but promising enough, let's give it a shot. This game is quite amazing in, in the simple fact that all you're doing is building a bridge. This minigame puzzle might have been a part of a more comprehensively built game, but here it's a game on its own, because that's what these packing games do. This is quite possibly one of the most boring games, though again, a comprehensive game nevertheless. It's a game, you build bridges, and if the guys fall in the water, nothing happens. Frantic Fishing. Another fishing game on an NES handheld type kind of console. This, this game, this is fishing. It's fish, it's another fishing game. We're into 11 games and we've had two racing games and two fishing games. Looking real promising, console. I'm gonna blow my brains out before I can even reach 140 games. Ooh. Brother Ball. This was one of the more uh, crazy games I've ever played in my friggin' life. You take control of a miscolored electrode and you attempt to rescue your brothers. Do you think I'm joking? They need your help, they're very sad, and if you miss and a spaceship comes by, it kidnaps your brother, never to be seen again, into the X dimension. No, seriously, this is literally the entirety of the game. Also, after you rescue a random one, sometimes it'll explode and kill you, so there's no real way telling the difference there. Maybe I missed it. Why should I be good at this game? What's it matter at the end of the day? Brother Ball, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, but... Animal Blocks. Animal. They spelled it right on the title screen. Didn't spell it right on the game select. This is a strange block game. I'm not going to attempt to figure out how to play it. Number 14, we're on Road Worker. Now, this is a game where you fix a road for a car driving towards it in a certain period of time. You have to put the right thing down, so I suppose that this is kind of a puzzle game and you're timed on it, so if you don't do it in time, you lose. That's the entire game. So, again, something a two or three year old probably would be able to figure out very quickly. And by the way, when there's a dead guy on the road, a bulldozer just comes over and destroys him and removes him. So that's great, isn't it? It's wonderful. Uh, Wonder Ball. Number 15 is Wonder Ball. Ladies and gentlemen, we just bypassed 10% of the games. Yay! Wonder Ball! Wonder Ball is a game that I literally couldn't control. I don't know if it's because it's broken or not. I don't know if it's because I was supposed to be pressing something at a specific time. But these balls shoot out of the center and your job is to get them into the matching slots. They seem to do it at complete random. So you got me whether or not I could actually control this. Wild Worm. Oh my god. Wispy Woods has really let himself go. Jesus, have mercy. Oh my god. You're a worm. You collect food. There's ants. They don't like you. You touch the ants. They kill you. Wild Worm, ladies and gentlemen. You know what? You know what? I'm go I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat here a little bit. I'm just gonna skip to the end. The last game. The if 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 the last game can save it. If the last game can pull it back for me. All right. Okay. If the last game, then I will attempt to play the rest of them. Here we go. The last game is addition.
我我 Why? Why is there a brick wall on a dead guy? Why? What? Why? What? I'm gonna make this short and sweet. Generally speaking, I uh, I I like to give the benefit of the doubt to uh, even even the crappiest of consoles. I try to find the silver lining. But for this, this was almost eighteen dollars with tax. With tax, ladies and gentlemen. It is incredibly late. I have worked through the day to play most of these games. But why would I play all of them on camera if the ones I played were absolutely terrible? Some of the worst games I've ever played in my life didn't even make sense. There's, there's a guy who's literally dead from addition. <sighs> you would be better off burning $18. You would be better off going up to someone on the street randomly and saying, here's $18. Just, just, I'm not going to spend it on this. If you... If you know you have a grandmother, a mother, an uncle, someone, a relative who likes to do well and give kids game consoles and stuff, tell them, save your money. Don't bother giving it to me. I know how that sounds. I know it sounds terrible, but save yourself this Christmas season. If you see this, I wouldn't even pick it up, ironically. Dream Gear, you're going to give me nightmares. That's all I have to say, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little bit something different. If you did, leave me a big thumbs up. If you didn't, leave me a big thumbs down and let me know why. And uh, once again, I've been your host for tomorrow and I'm signing up. I hope you guys have better dreams than I do. Dream year. Hmm. <laughs> what a joke.